What's up everybody, my name is Scott. You're watching Kentucky Ballistics and it's Full Auto Friday. We're back out on the range and today we're gonna have some fun with padlocks. I've always seen in action movies when they come to a gate that's locked, they just shoot the lock off. And I've also seen some other people here on YouTube shoot locks. But I've never seen anyone try to bust one open with a full auto. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let me go show you what we got and we'll get started. These cicadas are really starting to get on my nerves. It's like every time I come out here, they get really loud. So here's what we got. I've got three padlocks and I have attached latches to the railroad ties. So we actually have something for these to attach onto rather than just laying them on the ground. So attached latches on here. And then like I said, I got three of these and they range uh, from, they have a rating. It goes zero to 10, 10 being the highest. So I've got this little guy. His rating is a four four out of 10. And then this is a pretty common master lock and it says its rating is a seven out of 10. And then I got this big guy right here and its rating is a 10 out of 10. And this is like two inches of solid steel is what it says on the packaging. So I'm gonna put these on the latches, lock them up and we're gonna see if we can bust them. All right, I'll get this one on there. Lock number two. And lock number three. All right, well, we're all set up, but before we get started, I wanna say thank you to Sonoran Desert Institute for sponsoring today's video. If you've ever been interested in a career in the firearms industry, Sonoran Desert Institute's got you covered. They have lots of online classes, so it's super easy for you. If you wanna check them out, swing over to sdi.edu for more info. We're gonna start out with a little guy. I'm gonna be using the Full Auto AK-47 and I'm loaded up with some PMC bronze 7.62 by 39 full metal jackets. That's fast. Um, well, I still probably got 20 rounds in here. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the middle lock. Maybe a little bit faster video than I thought. Well, poop. I should have moved the second camera pointing at the middle lock before I shot it. Sorry about that. But the good news is it's not busted yet, so you'll get an angle of that. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, where is... Here we go. Whoa, dude. You are one lucky lizard. What are you doing? Bro. You gotta get out of here, man. I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna save you. Oh, where'd he go? There it is. Okay. We had a direct hit and it busted that lock. Wow, we did pretty good. We didn't even shoot the latch. Now on this middle lock, it's a different story. Uh, we have three new holes in our latch here and we hit the lock and we messed it up pretty good but it's still holding strong let's see if we can bust that middle lock yeah we busted it i'm not going to shoot that lock yet hold on i got to move the camera The other two locks were pretty weak. This one has a 10 out of 10 rating, so I'm hoping that it holds up a little bit better. We shall see. Oh! Okay, let's see here. Here's the middle lock, and it is all banged up. Now the strong lock, I think we hit it maybe once, but the latch is what broke, not the lock. So it should just open up. Well, there we go. And thankfully we have two other latches. So we'll just get that on there. 
and we're good to go. So I have a feeling that this lock is gonna give us a little bit of trouble. It's a big lock. So we're gonna step it up to the CMMG MKW chambered in 458 SOCOM and see if it can stop this. This thing is so hard to keep on target. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You just got jammed. You got a jam. Ah, oh, we're good. I don't think I hit that thing once. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try one more time and then I'm probably gonna switch back to the AK because I don't know if we're even gonna be able to hit this thing. It's such a small target and this recoils so hard, it's almost impossible to keep it on target. And by the way, I switched to some 300 grain brass solids. I think we hit it at least once, but well, heck, I don't know. <laughs> so we hit right here and we hit right here. It jacked the lock up pretty good, but uh, it's still holding strong. and the lock did not. Dang. <laughs> it is eating those rounds. I wonder if it will open. I don't think it's going to because it's pretty damaged at the bottom there. Mm -mm. Nope. It's not gonna work. You know, I don't think that 7.62 by 39 or 458 SOCOM is gonna bust this lock, but luckily I brought backup. I knew this last lock was gonna be pretty tough, so I made sure to bring a 50 BMG with me today. I had the Serbu RN50, and I'm gonna be using some PMC bronze 660 grain full metal jackets. Ow, ow, you see a horse fly? Ow! He got back up! Get out of here! Whoa! <laughs> Didn't have to walk very far. Took out the whole bottom piece of this lock. Ow! Horse flies are killing me! So I think I'm gonna set this back up. I'm gonna aim a little higher this time and I may scoot back a little bit. I think that was a good hit. Let's go check it out. Oh, we hit low again. One more time. Oh yeah. We busted it that time. Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, we broke it but it's still pretty intact. Oh. Please be broken. Oh! Still hanging on. 
Oh. I think I'm gonna call that good. No. We can't say that that's good. It's so close. I mean, it's just like right there. Oh yeah, that did it. Well, uh, it's a good thing we scooted back a little bit. <laughs> There's a piece of it. I bet you that is hot. Yep, that is really hot. Here we go. Woo! That is smoking hot. There's got to be another piece. If I don't find it now, I'll find it when I'm mowing. <laughs> Well, I don't know. All right, Ken folk, today's video took a little bit longer than I expected it to. Full Auto Friday almost turned into a 50 cow Friday. Shout out to Demo Ranch. I was not expecting the uh, Master Lock that was ranked 10 out of 10 to be that tough. I'm not endorsed by Master Lock, but if I was gonna put a lock on something, it's probably gonna be that lock. That was pretty darn tough. Your latch is probably gonna break before the lock will if someone's trying to shoot it off. I have no idea how it would hold up against bolt cutters, but if someone was trying to shoot the lock off, I don't think it's gonna come off very easily. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you follow me on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And make sure you check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. And I'll see you next time. You're not scared of me. What? That little thing's landed on my hand. He feels safe.